Welcome back future medicos. In this video, we will look at what is the passing score for NEET 2021. How the passing score is determined and what was the passing score in NEET in the last five years. So we will look at the details. Now, what is a passing score? The passing score is not fixed in terms of absolute marks. It's not like 360 marks. It's not like 180 marks or it's not like 100 marks. It's actually based on the percentile. Now, what is percentile? A percentile score or percentile rank indicates that how many candidates are below your rank. Say, for example, my percentile is 90. I score 90 percentile in NEET exam. Then what it indicates, there are 90 percentage of the candidates who took the exam or below my mark. Say, for example, I get 40 percentile. What it means, out of the candidates who took the exam, 40 percentage of the candidates are below my mark. So the higher the percentile, the better. So if you get 99 percentile, 98 percentile, that means you will be almost guaranteed an MBBS seat. So for unreserved candidates, the passing score is fixed at 50 percentile. What it means, if there are 10 lakh candidates appearing for the exam, 5 lakh candidates will pass the exam and 5 lakh candidates will fail the exam. So the top 5 lakh candidates will pass the exam. If 14 lakh candidates take the exam, 7 lakh candidates will pass. If 15 lakh candidates take the exam, 7.5 lakh candidates will pass. If 16 lakh candidates take the exam, 8 lakhs will pass. So the higher the number of candidates, the higher candidates will qualify. And probably the qualifying score might come down. The qualifying score will also depend on how easy the exam. If the exam is easier, the mark might go up. If the exam is tough, the passing score might come down. But whatever happens, the percentile is fixed. So as long as you are in the top 50 percentile, you can consider as passed the exam. If you belong to persons with disabilities in unreserved category, then you need only 45 percentile. If you belong to any reservation category like OBC, SC, ST, or you are a person with disability from the reservation category, then you need to score only 40 percentile. Now let's look at what was the passing score in the last few years. I have shown you the percentile, but what is the equivalent mark in NEET? If you look at 2016, for unreserved category, the passing score was 145 marks. 145 marks out of 720. Similarly, for persons with disabilities from unreserved category, the passing score was 131. For anybody from a reservation category, it was 118 marks in 2016. If you look at the last five years, in 2016, it's 145 marks for unreserved category. In 2017, 131. In 2018, 119. In 2019, 134. In 2020, 147. So the score almost ranging somewhere between 120 marks to 150 marks. So if you score around 150 marks, you more or less guaranteed to pass the NEET. Now the question is, if I pass the NEET, is my seat guaranteed? Can I get an MBBS seat? No, it's not guaranteed. Because you know that roughly in India right now, we have about 80,000 to 90,000 MBBS seats are available. So it's not possible when 8 lakh candidates pass the exam, there is no way that everyone will get an MBBS seat. So to get an MBBS seat, you should be scoring well or you should have a lot of money. If you are scoring well, you can get into a government medical college or maybe you can get into a government quota in private colleges. Typically, the fee structure will be lesser in those colleges. However, if you are scoring very low, but you have a lot of money, maybe you can afford one crore, one and a half crore, then probably you can get into the management quota in private colleges or the management quota in deemed universities. So you have to score well if you cannot afford a lot of money. 
if we can afford a lot of money, then even just a pass in the NEET might be sufficient. So that's the information I wanted to share. If you still have any questions about NEET passing score, please leave a comment in the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as possible. My best wishes to you. I see you soon in some other video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.